All right, we are back at it out here on the 56 today. Uh, working on the rear axle. Uh, again, quick performance, nine inch. Uh, first thing I had to do was this back brace came all the way out into here. So we had to trim that up. Now we got probably too much room now. Um, got it all mocked up in here. Got the car sitting on its own weight. The two jacks up there is in the center line of the front wheel. That way it would load the rear, you know, as much as uh, pretty close to where it should be, you know, sitting on its own four tires. Um, downloaded this pretty cool app from uh, Tremec. It's called Tremec Toolbox. Um, use your iPhone basically to set the paint angle. Usually I do it with an angle finder and a, you know, on a piece of paper and doing the math myself, but their app is pretty trick. I recommend using that. So anyway, it's all set. Spring perches are tacked. So then we will take this whole thing back out, weld the spring perches up 100%, and then we will start doing our final assembly. Um, got it centered as well as the pinion angle center. I think I'm gonna drop a plumb bob off the uh, quarter panel just to double check and make sure everything's happy and probably end up gonna put a Watts link in it later on just for the lateral movement because we are gonna be sliding this one a little bit. It's got a turning brake and stuff in it. So stay tuned. Uh, get this rear end out. I lost my cameraman today, so I'm kind of a one-man show. So I won't be doing a lot of filming while working. So bear with me. Thanks. All right, we got the axle back out of the car. We're going to uh, go ahead and get these spring perches welded up 100%. And then uh, we'll get the, the axle all painted and whatnot and go ahead and get it reassembled in the car.
All right, here's the finished product. Got the brakes on. I think everything's all set up. Pinion angle should be good. Uh, still got to do the shocks and got to do an upper shock tower to get rid of the shocks going through the body. That one's pretty rotted out on top anyway, so it's not going to work. Still got to adjust the cow track bars once we get it down on its weight. Got the third member all glued in. Uh, drive line is still going to work from the quick performance nine inch to the old 10 volt. The only thing we got to do is an adapter U joint from a 1310 to a 1350. Other than that, we do not have to cut the drive shaft. So you got a wider and a cross section and cap. So yeah, pretty happy with it. There it is. We'll get some oil in it, get some brake lines made later, and get the drive shaft in it, and we'll be dialed in. So we got the rear end all installed and went for our first test drive and made it about a mile uh car died act like it ran out of fuel and what we found was that little mark there hit the fuel line kinked it off and starved the engine for fuel and so mama had to tow us home so I guess today's mission, because we're going to try to catch a car show later, is to uh, remove that, maybe weld a fitting on, get rid of this loop and all this craziness. Maybe we can weld a, a 90 degree fitting on right here or something. And anyway, yeah, so I already got it dirty. Pulled over into the grass when we broke down, but here's the final installation turned out pretty good instead of bending up hard line i just ran a braided stainless line brake rotors are still eating off the coating <laughs> Okay, so this was hitting the rear end, so we're gonna try to change the direction. We've got a 3 8 uh, push lock hose, so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to cut this off. Looks like it's got some silver solder in there, so that might be a problem. I have to clean that out. And for today, we got a fuel cell coming, so this is gonna be temporary, but we're gonna weld that on, head in the other direction, try to get it away from that, the center portion of the uh, the uh, rear axle, the differential. We'll uh, weld that to there. And... Okay, so yeah, it ended up being silver soldered. So we heated that up, got all the silver solder ground out of there. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna weld the pickup tube to this little flange and then after that's done we'll weld the fitting to that and we'll weld it from both sides so we don't get any air leaks basically melt our little sender. I'll probably just remove the sending in it, weld that hole up too since it's temporary because this thing's going to get so hot that we're going to melt our little, our little deal there. So again, we're getting a fuel cell in a few days, so 
This is all just for today. Okay. That'll work for that. Now we'll get our little fitting tacked on here. I think we want it going about right there. in the tank like that. Could even give this a little bit of a bend. Yeah, this thing's all thin up now, but I'll grab a real body hammer we'll deal with that. Okay, now we just gotta figure something out from there to there. And we all dialed in. Let's go find some fittings. Well, it's uh, not ideal, but I guess we can cut this back. Put a flare out there. Let's go see if we got another flare fitting. Okay, well, like we said, temporary, but it was way over here hitting the back of the 
diff. There's a lot more clearance over on this side, so that should get us on the road today. We uh, blew some compressed air in there also, checked for leaks. The rest of the system looks good. I was kind of worried maybe it was sucking air from somewhere, but I think that's going to work. So we'll put it down on the ground and get the air blood out of it and see if we can't get this pig fired up. All right, well, we're going to start bleeding it right here at the pump feed line. Yep. Yep. Not sure where all that was because we had the fuel line off it, but interesting. Okay, well, I'll start manually pumping it until we get solid fluid. Actually, we could just probably take this off. We'll just make a big old mess, but I guess that's all air. filter housing and all the lines oh yeah there we go don't mind that red it's nothing to see there it's a farm equipment vehicle okay give it a few more pumps See what that does. Go ahead and try to light her off. Let's keep it. Yeah. Let's start from the back up and shoot the rear. 